let's get to Hertzberg's motivation hygiene theory. So you might have heard about this. Probably many of you, for many of you, this is new. Hertzberg motivation hygiene theory states that certain factors in the workplace cause job satisfaction, while a separate set of factors cause dissatisfaction. Okay, still kind of vague. Hygiene, survival factors decrease satisfaction. So if you have a workplace, there are going to be certain things that you're not going to be happy about. Okay, Factors, you know, from the highest to the lowest importance, according to Hertzberg, include company policy. You know, maybe you have policies in your company that just don't make you happy. You know, you have to be there at 8 o'clock in the morning and not a minute late. Uh, supervision, employees' relationship with their boss, work conditions, salary could potentially, you know, decrease satisfaction or relationship with your peers. Improving these will kind of remove dissatisfaction. If you have flexible company policies, it removes a dissatisfaction. Is it a motivator? I don't think so. In any case, that's what Hertzberg says. He doesn't say that, you know, if you have flexi time, you're going to be happy about your job. If you, you know, have a more acceptable supervision, it's not going to make you happy about your job. You have an adequate relationship with your boss. That's kind of what you just see as what should be the status quo, right? Work conditions, you should have good work conditions. You should have a salary which is adequate. You should have a relationship with your peers that is acceptable. But according to Hertzberg, that's not what motivates you. That's not what motivates you. This is what motivates you. It's your personal growth factors that would increase your satisfaction. Let's look at these. Challenging work. You're doing work that makes you feel that you are growing as a person. You get recognition for your achievement. You have responsibility. You're motivated because, you know, say you're part of a team and you want to do your part. Maybe you're the team leader and you don't want to let your team down. You have the opportunity to actually work on something meaningful. You know, say, you know, you're working on a project that's going to bring people out of poverty. You're going to help, I don't know, build a bridge. And building that bridge is going to make it easier for, you know, people on two sides of a river to, you know, spend time together. You're involved in decision making. Your opinion is taken into account. And you have a sense of importance to an organization. These, according to Hertzberg, would be motivating factors for you. And think about whether they would actually motivate you. Maybe you're fully motivated by salary. You know, more salary, you know, more motivated you are. But according to Hertzberg, in decreasing uh, importance, these would be the factors. Hygiene factors cannot by themselves provide job satisfaction. They only prevent dissatisfaction. Motivator factors should be added to provide job satisfaction. So when you're, say, auditing a department, don't just, you know, you know, check if you have problems in the hygiene factors, but check if you also have motivators in, well, the, the, the personal growth motivator factors. Mm -hmm.